Welcome to You Can Do This. Today, we're gonna make Eggs Benedict pizza. And we're not gonna use pizza dough. We're gonna make a giant English muffin to plate everything on top. Why are we making a giant English muffin? I was at a restaurant, not to be named, and there's Eggs Benedict pizza. And I was like, what a novel idea. And they gave me pizza dough with some eggs and hollandaise on top. And I was like, this is not an Eggs Benedict pizza. Why is there not a giant English muffin? Missed opportunity. The first thing we're gonna do to get those air pockets, we gotta bloom some yeast. Now I'm gonna do a third a cup of water, warm water that's coming out of your tap. One packet of yeast, active yeast. Now what this yeast is gonna do is it's gonna make it alive. And to help that along, we're just gonna add a pinch of sugar and we're just gonna let that sit right there. It's gonna come up. Now, while that's going, we're gonna start on a regular ingredients. I'm just using an English muffin recipe. I can do wacky stuff, but what I am not is a baker. My man Alton Brown has an amazing, super quick English muffin recipe. The thing is, it's just English muffins, sometimes you gotta rest them overnight, you gotta do 24 hours. This one is super quick and only has a 30 minute rise. It's weird that I don't want to take 24 hours to wait for dough to rise, but I'll take two hours to make a hamburger. Savory pastry. I'm gonna do a, a tablespoon of sugar, no fat, milk powder. We also have good old fashioned shortening, which is also about a tablespoon, a pinch of salt, and a cup of very hot water. Water is gonna help the uh, shortening melt and get us a nice thick sludge. And then right here, our yeast is coming up nicely. The yeast is going to provide air bubbles when we cook this thing. And those air bubbles are gonna be classic of an English muffin when you rip it up. It has this very airy and pocketed inside. We are just going to mix that in. And the last thing we're gonna add is the flour. We're gonna cover this with plastic wrap and we're gonna let it rest for a half an hour. Um, it'll probably more than double in size and it's gonna raise up and that's where you get all your air bubbles. And then we're gonna cook it. Now here's the difference with English muffins. English muffins are stove top and not baked. So we're gonna heat some pans up, let this rest 30 minutes. Ready for the magic? That, okay, you were supposed to stay there. Here, now we go off. It has risen. Look at all these bubbles. I think the Spanish word for bubbles is babrujas. If Michael Jackson's gorilla or his monkey was named Bubbles, but it's like, no, this is my monkey, babrujas, way better. So we're gonna add a pinch of salt back in here and then mix the batter together. Look at all those air holes. Look at all that air holes. I'm using a high sided pan because when I actually used to have to make English muffins for work, we used ring molds. And so I was like, oh, that's a kind of good way to keep shape. So this is a giant ring mold. Unlike the slew of things that take a longer, this one could actually save you time because you're not making six, 12 individual things. You're just gonna make one big one. So my pan is on medium low. Why is it on medium low? I don't wanna cook the outside before the inside's cooked since this is such a large English muffin. Um, if we brown the outside too fast, then the inside's gonna be raw since we're trying to get heat all the way through. All we're gonna do is take this dough, and yes, I'm using Alton Brown's recipe because I know my lane, and my lane is not pastry. So, now, we just let this cook. Oh, look at that, boom! Our bottom is nice and toasty. I'm gonna take this pan, I'm gonna lay it over the top. Stupid human tricks, flipping a giant English muffin. Put a towel here. I'm gonna put a towel under because that's kind of hot. I'm gonna line it up and really quickly, one, two, three. I'm gonna flip it over. Bang, giant English muffin. We're gonna take it out, we're gonna land it on our cooling rack and we're just gonna let it sit. If you want comparison here from our local New York deli who despite what you tell them, cut everything in half, that is a regular English muffin. This is your giant English muffin. Going to carefully 
cut this in half. Boom. English muffin. So now we have our pizzas. We're gonna toast it. We put this in the oven and then we bring in our ingredients for holla holla hollandaise. The eggs are gonna go in there. I got four yolks. So I'm stirring my eggs, got those going, whipping them up. We're using whole butter, we're not using clarified butter. We're gonna add some lemon juice and then a pinch of cayenne. Beautiful, 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 beautiful. Giant toasted English muffin. Our ham and then our Florentine, our salmon, poached eggs, our hollandaise. We're gonna finish it with some chives. Ladies and gentlemen, that is an actual Eggs Benedict Pizza. To see more videos where I choose complication over convenience, click here. The grand finale, 16,000. This is 16,000 strands of hand-pulled cotton candy.